fact, we need to rebuild America's schools and transportation and energy system. That investment in infrastructure that we direly need will put millions of people to work while literally laying the foundations for long-term economic growth and competitiveness. We can start by renewing the Building Star program to create jobs by installing energy-saving technology. We need an infrastructure bank to fund public infrastructure. But that infrastructure bank must have a Buy America and Davis-Bacon safeguards so that American tax dollars create good, family-supporting American jobs, not jobs somewhere else. And Congress must enact the, the fully funded Surface Transportation Act reauthorization to support millions of jobs and to build a, a cleaner, safer, more efficient uh, 21st century transportation system. Second, we need to revive American manufacturing and to stop exporting good jobs overseas. We need to end currency manipulation uh, by China and other countries. We need to reform our trade policies and end the tax incentives that encourage and reward the offshoring of manufacturing jobs. We can't afford to replace trickle-down economics with trickle-out economics. Third, we need to put people in the hardest-hit communities back to work, especially in communities of color. Their unemployment rates are two and sometimes three times the average. We need to do it with direct, targeted government hiring. It's time to face the truth that in a deep economic crisis, only government can put people back to work on the scale necessary to revive our economy and get it out of these doldrums. Fourth, President Obama is right to call for more aid to state and local governments to prevent more cutbacks in public services. Because the enormous fiscal stimulus that we've seen is being negated by the contraction of state and local governments to the point where it's negated or negative right now. Public layoffs are dragging down the economy and they're making a double dip recession far more likely. Congress should not lay off any more federal employees and should prevent additional state and local layoffs. Police officers, firefighters, health care workers, and public service workers of all kinds, quite frankly, deserve medals, not layoff notices. Fifthly, we need to reform Wall Street so that Main Street can create jobs. The financial sector is supposed to channel capital to productive sectors of the economy. But Wall Street diverts far too many resources from the productive economy, and it endangers the global economy with its reckless gambling. <coughs> the administration should support and Congress should pass legislation to encourage more lending to small businesses. And we should enact the financial speculation tax to discourage harmful speculation and to make Wall Street pay to rebuild the economy that it helped destroy, just as the European Union is doing. And we must enact and enforce tough safeguards to stop the kind of fraud that caused the crisis in the first place. Sixth and finally, we need to restore consumer demand and jumpstart our economy by extending unemployment compensation and keeping homeowners in their homes. You see, Congress and the administration should provide uh, for mandatory reduction of principal for homeowners facing foreclosure through bankruptcy reform, through mandatory mediation or other means. If banks lower the principal balance of all underwater mortgages to their current market value, more than $70 billion would be pumped into the economy every year. Millions of families would be able to stay in their homes, and over a million jobs would be created 
in the process.